one should I remind you? Every damn day. So we live in a society now where this is a running joke, right? And so 26,000 likes, ha ha ha. But on the other side of this, we're going to talk about how this is contributing to the kind of mess we have in the dating situation. Okay, so this is Susan Venker, and the name of this video is called How to Love a Man. It's a seven-day challenge. And, you know, I'll let her talk. So have you guys ever seen My Big Fat Greek Wedding? It's such a great film. There are so many awesome messages that the mother passes on to her daughter Tula in that film about men and marriage. The most profound exchange was when the mother said, Tula, let me tell you something. The man is the head, but the woman is the neck and she can turn the head any way she wants. Now, in order to understand this dynamic, you have to have a boatload of maturity because many women will use this power against their man. And that's a big no-no. The point is to appreciate and understand a man's need to be right. Now, if you have older relatives, and it, I'm, especially if you have like grandmothers or great-grandmothers, and you've ever heard them talk about men, men, I have heard older women say this. I've heard older women say this. And and it's not that women men are always right. The, I, well, she spoke to about the level of maturity, right? Yeah, men are not, not right all the time, but we need to be right. We need to feel what we're right and we'll get it right through trial and error. We'll get some things wrong, but she can talk better than I can. And in control, which I think I've already done a video on and find creative ways to work around that fact as a wife or a girlfriend. This is just one example though of something modern women take offense to because they've been groomed to believe that men should think and behave like women and that catering to a man's nature is somehow backward thinking. Now, again, if you have older women in your family, I'm sure that you've heard them talk about, about men. They've talked about their your grandfather, your great grandfather, and they say, he needs to be right, and I, I, I find a way around it, right? Right. So, of course, the laugh is on them because they're failing miserably in relationships where women in earlier eras, in earlier eras did not. At the end of the day, what modern women have not been taught is how to love a man. And that is the point of this video here. You can see in the first video, it, it's basically saying, I don't see any need for the guy, for the man, right? And so how can you love someone that you don't need? Uh, how can you love someone that's a nuisance to you? And I, I'm not saying she doesn't have a right to think that way. What I'm saying is that it's very difficult to have a relationship with someone who doesn't know how to interact with you, doesn't care about how you work, doesn't take interest in, 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 in your biology and how you function. And you're hearing from this conservative lady from the Midwest explain how men work on the contrary they've been specifically taught to dissociate from men and to depend on themselves for everything and this attitude this mindset that women have been groomed to harbor is the number one reason their relationships fail virtually all of my clients are millennials all of them and when i listen and learn about their very common marriage and relationship struggles i ask myself why is something that should be so obvious to most people not obvious there are so many basic facts that women are completely in the dark about because they didn't have mothers like Tula did in the big in my big fat Greek wedding. OK, so. We basically she's saying basically she's saying it. I'm not the one saying it. She's saying it. We have a generation of of young ladies that have never really been taught how to interact with men. They don't know how to do it. So if you're expecting a man to act like a woman that is from the from the jump, you're going to have issues, right? men don't respond that way even on sports teams men you you don't tell a guy hey you do this it, the guys don't respond to that until the a hierarchy is under is understood right it's just it's just the way that men work and if you don't take any interest in how men work you can't really get along with us they weren't taught, for example, how powerful their femininity, their femininity, I can never say that word right, is in bringing out the best in a man. They weren't taught that respect is the key to building a healthy relationship with a man. 
Now, I'm sure you've heard that somewhere before in this space. I'm sure you, you may have heard that from Kevin Samuels, but those two things, man, respect, femininity, they disarm men. It disarms us. We're helpless against that. To illustrate this power, I'd like to challenge any woman who's married or in a relationship to do three things consistently for one week. Okay. All right. Now, she's a relationship coach. Now, she's a con she conservative. She's traditional. She's going to challenge to do three things. I want you to think for a second. What do you think she's going to challenge her listeners to do? And check this out. There's a video. I'm going to link it at the end of this one that I did from the single mother Japanese lady coach who is going to basically say the same thing and see what happens. Ready? Number one, wear a skirt or a dress and give your man lots of affection. Number two, compliment your man or thank him for something. And number three, make zero complaints, which means essentially that you're not gonna nag in any way. This is for one week. So you're gonna do all three of these things every day for one week. Wear a skirt or a dress and one, give him lots of affection. Two. Compliment your man or thank him for something and make zero complaints. Three. This is every day for one week. These are just three examples of what my coaching clients do. That okay, so here she goes into her coaching, her coaching call, but you hear the three things that she's instructing and look, it's not, this is not a who's better, who's worse thing. It's just what works for men. They, that, that is, that is basically what, that's what drives men. It, and as men, we know it, we know it. it's not, it's not something we can explain, but it's something we know when we see, right? It, we're not really equipped to argue with women. This is actually something she says, I listened to all the way through her channel and she has a lot of good content. But one thing she says in one of her videos is how men aren't equipped to verbally fight with women. We're not, we're not equipped to fight with women. We're, we're not. When, when masculine meets masculine and it's a man versus a man, we know how to deal with that. But when it's, when it's a strong, uh, aggressive, uh, a feisty fem female, how, how do you deal with it? either you back off or you, you move away? Like, cause you can't confront it like a man cause the rules are different. You, but you can't confront it like a woman cause the, the behavior is different. So when you see video like TikToks like the one before, we're, we're basically seeing that we're butting heads and that's why we're getting results that look like, well, I can bring up my favorite chart that look like this. That's what we're getting. Now we could say we don't need each other anymore, but that doesn't mean that men don't want companionship anymore. And heck, it doesn't even mean that women don't want companionship anymore. But what it does mean is that we've gotten to a point where we don't understand each other as well as we used to. So anyways, with that said, it's respect, respect and femininity go a long way. I mean, I, I have seen in relationships over here, married couples that have stayed together for 30 40 years 50 years and you have one submissive person and that submissive person is is doing a whole bunch of things and that and that guy is that man is the one doing out the work and then he comes home and things are a certain way and it's like how can he go away from how can he walk away from that no no man in his white mind is going to walk away from a respectful submissive woman even if she's a little bit overweight even if she i don't know whatever insert whatever you want that might not be the most agreeable but with that i just want to say hey guys thanks for watching please like subscribe uh make a comment down below and i'll catch you guys in the next video take care guys